Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It's Friday, March 15th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Blocked in Texas. Parents guilty. Women suing. And Titanic 2. It's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, the sixth most popular website in the country. It goes Google, YouTube, Reddit, Facebook, Amazon, and then Pornhub right there before Wikipedia. The pornography website is blocking users in Texas to protest a lawsuit from the Attorney General of Texas, Ken Paxton, over their age verification system. The website says, as you may know, your elected officials in Texas are requiring us to verify your age before allowing you access to our website. They claim that this violates adults' freedom of speech. So after many different lawsuits back and forth, the website currently just requires a user to put in any date to get past the age verification. There's no actual proof that the person is of a certain age. 17 states have passed or proposed a law requiring pornography sites to verify the age of users. We've been following the Michigan school murderer's parents who got arrested. First the mom and now the dad has been found guilty of manslaughter. This was the first case in which the parents of a school shooter were held directly responsible for the murder. A dozen women are suing the NC2A for letting men compete against them and use women's locker rooms. This is about Leah Thomas. Remember the man who competed against the women in swimming, won the 500 freestyle at the championships? This uh, lawsuit states that both the NC2A and Georgia Tech that hosted the event knowingly violated Title IX, which is supposed to guarantee equal opportunity for men and women in college education and sports. One woman says she changed in a dimly lit storage and utility closet that she found under the bleachers to avoid the man in the locker room. An Australian mining tycoon, Clive Palmer. You have to have a lot of money to be known as a tycoon. He is building the Titanic 2. This is not a movie, Titanic 2. This is an actual boat. He first proposed this back in 2012, 100 years after the Titanic sunk. But he told an audience at the Sydney Opera House, we're very pleased to announce that after unforeseen global delays, we have re-engaged with partners to bring the dream of Titanic 2 to life. He wants it to be as close to the original as possible, same interior space and cabin layout. But the original Titanic only had four elevators, none for third-class passengers. Can't get away with that today, so where are you going to put the other elevators? He also wants all passengers to switch and experience first, second, and third class on the six-day journey. Would you ride it? I'm Mike Slater. Bill O'Reilly has your message of the day. Next. Our freedoms should never be taken for granted. They must be cherished, protected, and defended. When corporations pander to the liberal agenda, they must be punished. When corporations stand up for conservative values, they should be supported. This brings me to Freedom 2.0, the bottled water company that proudly represents us. They have hilarious sayings on each bottle like, this water ain't woke and bottled with liberal tears. Use the code BILL for a 15% discount and subscribe to Freedom 2.0. We must never discount freedom, but we can discount water as long as you use the code BILL. Please visit freedom2o.com to order now. That's freedom, the number two, the letter O, dot com. Freedom2o.com, use code Bill for 15% off. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Friday, as everybody knows, Hunter Biden is charged with not paying his fair share of taxes while accumulating millions of dollars from shadowy overseas operations. Yet his father, the president, is obsessed with hardworking Americans paying even more to the government because Joe Biden believes that is fair. So if I were the prosecutor in the Hunter tax evasion case coming up soon, I would call Joe, his father, as a witness to explain why Americans should pay taxes and also explain how he feels about his son being derelict in the same area. That would be something, would it not? And the president can be compelled to testify, even though he would challenge the attempt, after all, Joe is the highest taxing chief executive ever. 
His court appearance would shed white-hot light on exactly why rendering to Caesar is so important to the nation. Hunter Biden doesn't seem very repentant over not paying his fair share that everyday Americans must pay. He hasn't apologized. In fact, he believes he is being persecuted and it isn't, sorry, fair. When Joe Biden leaves office, I will pitch a Netflix program called Biden Family Values. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Let's go to the mail. Lee. Bill, thank you for pointing out that a jury is supposed to decide whether President Biden is guilty in a classified documents case. It is not the prosecutor's job to decide guilt or innocence. Absolutely. That is a flaw in our system. Lloyd, if Hunter Biden evaded taxes, then President Biden probably did also. No, (laughs) I don't think you can make that linkage. Um, I don't see how you can link the two together. They did not file joint tax returns. Mark, people in Congress are missing the point about what's so dangerous about TikTok. Not data sharing. Lots of apps and companies share data. It is that TikTok is brainwashing. Okay, I don't. I'm not on TikTok. If I, I would love to see an example of TikTok brainwashing the younger people who go on it. I'd like to see it. Maybe we will. Why do you refer to conservatives like Matt Gates, O'Reilly? as far right, but you never call any progressives far left. Scott Evans, Calabasas, California. I love Calabasas, by the way. It's great, Scott. I guess you're new to this program. I think I've used the term far left loons about a million times in seven years. So I don't know how you missed it. Felix Kewick, Uxbridge, Massachusetts. Bill, you probably answered this question, but how can all of these seemingly intelligent and self-employed people have the same dumb mindset watching, wanting the U.S. to become socialist? No, it's not business people. It's the people who are dependent on the government. The millions and millions and millions of people in this country who get handouts from the government, they want socialism. They don't want to compete in the marketplace. That's who that is. In a moment, something you might not no. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Americans beware. Today marks the Ides of March, long associated with bad luck and the assassination of Julius Caesar. The ominous holiday began as a harvest festival. Here is the story. In ancient Rome, the Ides, Latin for middle, marked the arrival of the spring full moon. People gathered for food, wine, and music. They sacrificed animals to the deities for good fortune and bountiful crops. A single act of violence would change all of that forever. On March 15, 44 B.C., Emperor Julius Caesar dismissed his security force for a private meeting with Roman senators. Though popular with the Roman people, the dictator was despised by most politicians. Sixty 
conspiring senators lured the emperor into a small chamber where they stabbed him 23 times in the head, chest, and groin. Julius Caesar dead at 55. Fast forward two millennia, and the Ides of March are celebrated in some pretty bizarre ways. Each year, thousands of people participate in the Brides of March. The soon-to-be wives wear togas and visit pubs in San Francisco, New York, Boston, and Miami. Theaters across the country stage performances of William Shakespeare's play, Julius Caesar, At the bloody climax, some audience members chant the infamous line, et tu, Brute? And here's something else you might not know. Across the Atlantic, the Ides are still considered perilous. Europeans rank the middle of March as the second unluckiest day of the year. The most dreaded, Friday the 13th. According to researchers at the Stress Management Center in North Carolina, 17 to 30 million people fear the number 13. Many folks alter their daily routines to avoid danger on the Ides, some even refusing to get out of the bed. Play it safe today. A warning on the Ides of March. Back after this. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low cost month to month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out of pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800 925 7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote 800 925 7584. 800 925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.